I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I got a feedback from somebody that what happens when your wife denies you the conjugal right of marriage. Copulation in marriage is a command for Christians. Say, do not deny each other the conjugal rights of marriage. It is a duty. Say, do not deny each other the conjugal rights of marriage, except in true prayer, through a time you set aside for prayer. Then come quickly together so that the devil will not come in. When a man is denied the conjugal rights of marriage, or a woman is denied the conjugal rights of marriage, it is an invitation of the devil to come in. Then the, the person also asked, if a woman denies the husband, or a wife denies the husband, the conjugal rights of marriage for two years, three years, five years, what should a man do? According to the Nigerian law and many other laws, if a woman denies a man the right to go to Mount Olives and Jerusalem for two years without any cause, maybe an illness or incarceration, that's imprisonment, that marriage can be dissolved. Same thing with a woman. If a man denies a woman the conjugal rights of marriage for two years and above, that marriage is deemed irredeemable and it is dissolved unless there is an illness, unless it is by mutual agreement, unless it is by distance, maybe one is transferred to another country. If you don't want to have conjugal relationships in marriage, you should not have married. Don't weaponize it. Do not weaponize it. Then somebody who is very religious will say, Dr. Apoki, are you encouraging divorce? Listen, I'm not encouraging divorce because most uh, religious people don't are not logical. Number one, marriage is ordained by God, celebrated in the church or celebrated culturally. But marriages in modern society are regulated by government. That's why your marriage certificate does not bear a church logo. It bears a government logo, local government logo. Traditional marriages are recognized, but in most cases, you will need to register it so that you get a government certification that you have married traditionally. If not, you can't, you, you can't travel together in some embassies. You can't have rights to inheritance in some cases. So, marriage is regulated by government. If you conduct a wedding in a non-registered place, that marriage is null and void. You can't do a wedding in a church that is not registered. If you, uh, they, are, they, they, they are not recognized, it is null and void unless you go to the local government and register that marriage. Listen, there are some complex laws that most church people don't know. Adultery in southern Nigeria is not an offense. It's not an offense. It's only in Sharia law. So if you catch your wife committing adultery, you don't have a right to beat her. You don't have a right to beat the man that committed adultery with her. It is not an offense in southern Nigeria if it, was, if it is consensual, that is, they mutually agreed. So, these things are regulated by government. Listen and listen well. Your own child, if you beat your child and traumatize the child, and the social welfare department comes to know about it, they can take your child from you in Nigeria and in the UK and several other countries. It, you are owned by government, created by God. Listen and listen well. If you attempt to commit suicide and you don't die well, gov if the government will arrest you and deal with you because it is an offense because you are their citizen. So 
There are things we don't know. And when people are talking, please learn to learn. So do not deny each other the conjugal rights of marriage, excepting by mutual agreement. And if that is done for more than two years, legally, you have a right to separate from that person. Because God did not ordain his laws, I mean, constitute his laws for torture and wickedness. God is a God of love. And I, Dr. Apoki, I love humanity. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. God bless you. Please share this video. I'm going to do two quick videos before I go to my farm. God bless you.